Cześć na Sharknet Competence Days po raz piętnasty. Tym razem moim gościem jest... My name is Jörg Langerheine. Dzień dobry. Jörg jest z firmy Matrox Video. Uh, Jörg, tell me why over 45 years Matrox Video has been a leader manufacturer of video products and components for the broadcasting and media, live entertainment and AV IT markets around the world. Yeah, Matrox is a Canadian company founded in 1976 by two people, uh, Branko Matic and Laurent Tortier. And a couple of years ago, Laurent took over uh, the other half actually and is now the only uh, person like owning the company. And uh, since the beginning, uh, Matrox was always designing innovative new products, which were always meeting customers' needs. And this is still happening these days. Matrox, the brand itself, like became very famous in the 90s, actually. We designed uh, very innovative uh, graphic cards, for, uh, which were used for, I would say, anybody who was gaming back then or starting to game was using one of our Millennium or Mystique graphic cards. But I would say like 50 15 years ago the trend was a little different so always the gamers are like not really um, how you call it uh, confident uh, customers they always want to have the fastest and uh, cheapest solution and we designed actually or we, we, we changed our focus back to the professional users and this is where we had to adopt and had to design new products new yes, technology you, you have been known as a very professional brand but you mentioned uh, you uh, your innovation is up to date uh, what the market specific market demand for and uh, the question is what have you created an innovation special innovation which you have here in krakow during the uh, sharpneck competence days Yeah, our owner, Laurent Trottier, always have like a very nice ideas where, where he sees the future of the technology of the markets. And uh, he thought like at the moment, there are a lot of AV over IP solutions available, uh, but they're all proprietary. There is no open standard uh, everybody is using. So you can interoperably uh, or use interoperable uh, products. So. Each manufacturer builds his own island actually, has very nice solutions, but it can never work together with other manufacturers or other brands. And this is where Lauren really sees the future in one open standard for the AV market. So the customer can decide which product he wants to use and he knows it will work with the other brand or other uh, manufacturer together actually. And this uh, new standard called IPMX is actually what he is pushing, where he is pushing the company and says I believe in that and I want the company to design products based on this new standard. What are this standard characterized by? The standard is actually it's open you know there is no license fee you have to pay for a chip for a hardware for a codec or anything it's really open so any, anybody can develop actually a product based on these uh, on this standard and um, it's actually the foundation is coming from an already existing standard called ST2110 called also called known as SMPTE ST2110 and um, this standard was generated or created for the broadcast industry actually to get away from the STI cables and move them over to IP solutions but Broadcast is very specific. They have a specific um, chroma subsampling. They use 4 to 2 10 bit resolutions typically. And they typically also need the PTP clock in their network. So the uh, displays, cameras, everything is on sync. TV world, this is nothing really important. They have RGB signals. They want to uh, show 444 uh, desktop quality. And uh, they don't really want to have like sync displays, you know, like on a, a nanosecond or something like that. So the new standard IPMX is based on this SMPTE ST2110, uh, but it's adding a lot of uh, AV functionalities like RGB support, 444 support, HDCP support, encryption, and also adding new codecs. Like you don't want to always be in a 25 gig uh, network infrastructure. You all you want to use your one gig infrastructure which is everywhere available 
And um, this new IPMX standard is actually combining all these uh, topics to an open standard and uh, this is currently being ratified, designed and everything like that. So to sum up what you uh, talked to me about yeah. is more easier and open and more useful. So we had a couple of projects uh, in the real last month on uh, ST2110. This is already existing standard and the advantage is you can use a mixer from manufacturer A and a transmitter from manufacturer B and they simply work together, you know? Nothing you have to keep in mind or have any transcoders or anything in between. You just plug and play and it works. And um, there are a lot of companies like really focusing or uh, agreeing on this IPMX standard and currently building or adopting to this IPMX standard. We are the first ones actually and now I'm on my booth here I have um, the first IPMX ready uh, solution. It's transmitters, receivers, they support 25 gig, 10 gig, uh, 2.5 gig and 1 gig um, actually network infrastructure and you can with almost no latency transmit signals wherever you want. Also brand new what I have here is an SDM module plugged into a Sharp NEC display and uh, I just connect my uh, network cable and you get your signal without any additional boxes. And there is more to come from Matrox really with a focus on IPMX on this open standard. Matrox perhaps it's not very easy to understand every detail but in use, it's very easy. Yeah, people using it love the, 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 um, the stability of the products, you know. And this is important for infrastructure uh, setups, you know. If you like uh, investing in, for example, insurance or a big bank or whatever in your uh, auditorium infrastructure, um, it costs a lot of money, you know. But you want, if you want to be sure that it works afterwards, and this is uh, installations like this is where Matrox is inside. Even this here in Las Vegas, Matrox is inside with Convert IP. So you see, it's a very robust technology we are designing and a very smart idea behind this IPMix standard. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. A was zapraszam do innych naszych rozmów na kanale AVIT i relacji z Sharpnek Competence Days. Cześć!